So guys, here we are, right? We just were talking about the bracket. Let's take a quick pop over here to take a look at what exactly we're looking at, right? This is Max Pax against Percival. Percival beat B in the previous round, two to one. This is very exciting. Let's get into it. I'll introduce these players some. So we have down here in the bottom right, Max Pax. This guy gained a lot of fans from doing this exact build. This is the Max Pax build. So we're going to talk about this one first. So what you do is you make a pylon in your main base. And then you send a probe out and make a second pylon and a gateway. The reason you make the pylon in the main base is because you don't want to get supply blocked. But you want your first gate out here so you can make zealots instantly and then hurt the command center. Now notice his probe walked back over here and then came over. That's so that if an SCV came out, the SCV would see the probe. Now here's the funny thing, right? Uh, Percival is the newest high level player in Korea. He is the youngest. People think that he has the most potential out of all the new blood in Korea right now. Uh, but he's actually a little bit of a controversial figure. For instance, Dark hates him. How crazy is this? It's a great to have a personality like him. He's got long hair. He seems like a cool guy. I actually got to meet him. Uh, no regret. Scouted him out as a potential up and comer uh, like a couple years ago and had him in the house before he was anywhere near pro gamer level. So he was, th that's like a really cool little side story, I think. Uh, but yeah, Percival made it into GSL code A. He ended up not being able to advance, of course, because it's like his first time playing against real sickos. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Uh, now, throwing down a pylon. Looks like Max Pax has changed the build a little bit. I don't remember a pylon going down here, but okay, okay. Second Zolt coming out. So he is buying a little bit of time at least. He's prevented the bunker from being made. Oh, he's going to make a shield battery, isn't he? And now Percival knows. So Percival targets that down very quickly. The SCV still trying to prevent the bunker from going down. Oh, look at this. Shield battery. Oh my god, double shield battery. Max Pax is crazy. He's actually got a, a Nexus up during this time somehow. And he should have a Stalker coming out on the way really, really soon. Oh, he already has it out. Oh my god. And as these shield batteries finish, that's huge, man. That's going to keep him alive for decades. So he pulls it back, doesn't want more hull damage until these finish. Oh, I'm surprised he's actually sitting there. Okay. He actually, he took all sorts of hull damage. I don't feel like that was optimal, but whatever. Um, anyways, these batteries are going to take forever. And if the SCVs come up to repair, he can just attack them. Max Pax is kind of an evil genius, guys. It's too bad that team doesn't exist anymore, right? He would be a great, great ad for them. But this is wild. This is, this is so, so insane. And this is the build that Max Pax is known for, but this is a new way to do it. I have been watching your content since the very first GSL back in 2010. I was 14 at the time and just wanted to thank you for being such a beacon of entertainment and passion throughout my youth and a whole decade. Thank you so much, Artosis. Dude, Gizabur. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. It's a big tip. Thank you for watching for so long. I'm glad that you've enjoyed. Uh, Yeah, guys. So this is... This is so cool for so many reasons what we've watched right here. Because this is not even an all-in for Max Packs, right? Look at this. 35 workers to 27. He got his Nexus up quickly. Now, the Max Packs build, for those of you who don't know the story behind this, Max Packs, before he was famous at all, he was just this young, like, GM, low GM player in Europe. And Beastie Cutie, one of my favorite fucking people in the entire scene, uh... You know, he makes a lot of YouTube content. He does a lot of streaming and stuff. And he ran into Max Pax and lost to this proxy gateway build. And he made a video about it that went within the StarCraft scene viral. Uh, and the build became really popular. I was actually playing StarCraft 2 really actively at the time. And I started using it on the ladder. And it was hilarious how many free wins I got out of it immediately. Um, also, uh, it, Parting has used it multiple times and gotten multiple wins with it. It's It's... In GSL Code S, the Max Packs build order has one of the highest win percentages of any build. 
just to throw that out there okay so the build is real it's legit it's a mix-in build it's not like a play every game like this build and it's especially good in this type of situation against a newer player like percival that may not know the history of a build like this or the fact that it is literally max pax's build also max pax changed it a bit with the double shield battery that wasn't originally part of it so that's super cool to see what a damn exciting opening to this game seriously now during all that we had a little mind drop not that much damage right uh three probes killed whatevs he has his third nexus coming up this is this is cool man he's got a prism here juggling some stalkers this is this is exciting this is cool this is the type of match that you want to see right now it's like one of the big up-and-comers in europe with max packs one of the big one of the only up-and-comers, but, you know, the one that people are saying has the most potential in Korea, in Percival. Damn, man. Tell me that this isn't a great fucking way to spend the evening or morning or whenever it is for you. All right, blinks forward here onto that bunker. Just going to be picking off SCVs for the most part. Put some volleys onto the bunker to force the SCVs to come back. But as more Marines come down, uh, he does have to retreat. Some good micro there from Max Pax. So he has the three bases up. He's going into Colossus Tech during all of this. Oh! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I guess the armory is up. He does not see those. Does he actually have an observer on the way? Yeah, he does. Okay, there it is. I was saying, I'm going to say, the way he was maneuvering there, it seemed like he should have one. What a cool game. This is going to be a great series. I'm really glad that we jumped into this. I'm really glad that Bion was slow again on NA. <laughs> we'll go back to Bion after this, though. Because I think that next Bion match against uh, Skillis is going to be great. Okay, double boosted medevac. Percival turns around as he sees the prism coming in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, doesn't really lose anything. Some damage on a stock or whatever, doesn't matter. Just the fact that this forced the medevacs to go back and he now knows the intention of Percival. I think that that's an important thing that people miss in RTS games. That when you see someone try to do a move like that, you know what their intent is. You know what they're thinking about. You know what they want to do as their next move. So what should happen now is Max Pack should be more on the lookout for double medevac coming out on the map. And I think once you hit super duper 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 high level, I'm talking like Serral type stuff, where it's like the greatest, smartest, most accomplished players in the world, probably there will be like mind games involved whether or not you send out those two medevacs then or you like group them up elsewhere or something like that. Now, Max Pack's running back. He has a Colossus out. His second one's about to pop. Uh, he does not have Thermal Lance. He does have Charge. Very important to uh, mention. This is a lot of Stalkers. Get some good volleys there. Backs up. Double Colossus has the battery, backs up into the battery. The Zealot's getting on top of everything. Look at this, takes some shield damage, backs up as the Zealots die. Perfect micro here from Max Pax, in my opinion. Does the overcharge. And the Bio actually doing some damage over here. The Stalker's having to micro really a lot. The overcharge keeping one of the Colossi alive. Bring it over these Stalkers now. He's going to be able to get on top of Percival's siege tanks. This was a really great attack from Percival. I'm actually getting chills right now. I am... Can you... Can you see the chills? The goosebumps coming up? This is a fucking fantastic game so far. This is a fantastic game. Oh my god. Nerd chills are real, my man. Like, these two are making a lot of great moves. That was a fantastic attack from Percival. Uh, Max Pax held it, like, I think as best as you ever could. Look at this. He's instantly taking a fourth base. Oh, this is uh, this is awesome to see Percival landing his third during all of this as well. Let's take a look at what the production is, is looking like. Now getting Thermal Lance that he has money, adding his gateway production. A big army coming out from Percival. Only two Vikings. Only two Vikings. So that's, that's not a very good counter to Colossus, honestly. Uh, he's microing heavily here, but I think he just has to run away. This, I don't, oh, never mind. I guess if you kite that well, you're fine. And he actually snaps the neck on, on one of the Colossi as well. Yeah, I guess he does have plus one right now, doing a great job whittling down these Zealots. First of all, gonna pull back. All 
All right, sending out uh, some another group of units in the other direction. Maybe some drop rass while he tries to hit the fourth. Okay, probe's headed down. He has to cancel this. This can't be saved. That's a great move from Percival. Yeah, there's the cancel. But actually, uh, Percival moved back. That's that's kind of interesting because if he hadn't moved back with this group, I guess there was some units waiting here. What do we have in the main though? There was. There was potential there. So you can see, like, for instance, a place where Percival can increase his skill. He actually had these units moving into a position that was very strong here, where he has the option to attack up into here or drop into the main base. Uh, and he actually sent them back while he was microing here. Whereas if you have Maru or TY or Innovation or Byun, I guarantee you the drop occurs. And that's kind of the difference between these up-and-coming Terrans, these Terrans that aren't quite there, and, like, for instance, the Four Horsemen, right? It's, uh, but still, great, great plays here out of personal and just pointing out this one little place where it's like, oh, damn, he still has a lot of room for improvement as well, which is awesome to see. All right, another stim up here. He is using two groups this time. Moving forward, a lot of charge lots there. Has to back up, maybe pick up going to, no, can't get into the main. A blink down, in fact. Max Pack's very aggro there, but hold on. Okay, yeah, he's got to save this. He can't cancel it this time. You cannot be canceling that fourth base twice. You're going to get way too far behind. All right, Max Pack saves it. Good splitting of his army right now. Yeah, see, his mineral patch is running out a little bit. This is why it's so important to get this base up and running. Let's take a look at upgrades. 1-1, one, one, done on both sides. We have plus 2 on the way. We have plus 2 almost done for Percival. So he's actually winning in that upgrade battle. Max packs, we don't see him adding a second... Uh, source of splash damage. This is what makes me nervous for him. If you're going to be behind in upgrades a little bit, and you're, I mean, you're playing this this style where you're kind of split up as well. Well, again, when you have to split more, it's good to have like a little bit heavier on the gateway units for sure because they have more health than those tech units, but you need the second source of splash. Okay, we see now he's making uh, some uh, some disruptors. So that's that's super important. Okay, EMP hitting the... This is a tiny group. So that EMP, like, yeah, okay. Do it. It doesn't matter that much, though. Max Pax backs up. Bringing his army down. Now, let's see how Percival splits here. Is he going to send all of his army somewhere? Is he going to split it up into two groups? I think it becomes a hard choice. And you see Max Pax right now. He's kind of realizing this. Look at this. He's adding on three shield batteries and has two cannons here at that fourth, as well as a small handful of zealots. This is enough to slow down an attack here. Honestly, he shouldn't use the energy on this Nexus. Okay, he uses it. It looks like he has all of his Nexus hotkey and he's just chrono boosting uh, here. But you kind of... I'm worried about this Nexus falling if he's out of position. Anyways, enough of that. We have this army moving forward for Percival. I love that he continues to add in tanks. Max Pax pulling back, pulling back. Ooh, big EMPs go down. Really big EMPs. Oh my god, the Vikings go into town. Okay, he picks off all the Vikings, keeps one Colossi alive, but the Vikings did the did their job pretty well. Ooh, that's a great pickoff by Percival. Killer instinct right there. Fifth base going up for Max Packs. This is an important thing. This is where you can start to see some of the level of Max Packs again uh, in this game. The fact that he is under this much pressure and losing important units, but a Nexus is going up. Because if you're not expanding... Then you're contracting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a saying for that yet. But if you're not expanding, you're going to be in trouble. Because Percival certainly is. Okay, moving forward on top of this. That is a lot of Siege Shanks. Zealots coming up from the side. We need a good hit here. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Can he get another? All right, picks that off. Keeps a Colossus live. Has to cancel. Okay. If you have to cancel, you have to cancel. Lot of charge lots out right now. He, he has 2-2, two -two, so that's really solid. We're about to have 2-2 two -two for Percival. He does have 2-1 right now. Has plus 3 on the way, and that's going to be done well in advance. Another Colossi coming up. Ooh, interesting area for this army to be. He can pick up quite a bit. It's kind of stalker light, but enough to punish, I think. All right, some Zealots being warped in for a flank on the high ground. Yeah, look at this. The stalker's going down here. Look at this move right now. Look at this move. That was beautiful from, from Max Pax. He split the Stalkers off to catch these coming out because he knew he was going to crush this army. So now the Medivacs are trapped. 
In the meantime, Percival going elsewhere. He's going to get damage done because he knows the army is kind of chasing this. But Max Pax knows that he's going to make a move like that. Moves up. Does get a kill or cancel here on this Nexus. That beautiful move with the Siege Shanks actually clumps up the Zealots. The Zealots getting the worst possible surface area. So he will still clean this. But the army of Percival doing better than it should have there at least. Now he does boost into the main base during all this. Dropping off in the back right of it. Nice warp in. He will end up getting this erased. Uh, but he makes the best use of it. Best use of it he could have gotten, honestly. And actually, this is hilarious. What? <laughs> it's like three units. It clears, clears so many stalkers. Okay, okay. So that's done with. Dude, this game is insane. This is a great game. My god. Okay, during all this time, Percival is still expanding. You can really see that Korean multitasking uh, kind of at work here for Percival. I think this is one of the hardest things to do as Terran is while you're doing all these multi-pronged attacks, still working on your economy, right? It's got 69 workers. <laughs> nice. Floats down another command center for another base. Looking good. All right, here we go. Max packs going forward towards this base. Some Vikings in here that are not going to be all that useful. Not for this battle, at least. Just taking some damage. Percival spread out a little bit. He doesn't have that much of an army left anymore, honestly. I guess I guess when you look at it, he lost like six tanks up here and some bio. And then he lost his medevacs and marines and marauders down there. So we're actually pretty low. X300 knights. <laughs> Thanks, Dragon2950. Lara's cute. Thanks for the uh, subs as well. So yeah, it seems like Max Pack's starting to bully him back a little bit. His supply a lot bigger after those, those one battles. What a very nice game this has been. It looks like it's going to end now. GG. That was an excellent game.